After the installation of any new hardware, whether it be wired or wireless, it's uh, recommended to always reboot your PC. After rebooting, we can now assume that the installation CD of the Linksys router has now set the router security. After you reboot, please ensure that the PC is connected to the router. And uh, I will show you how to do that after we reboot. Okay. Let's go ahead and reboot the PC now. Let me, first of all, take the CD, installation CD out. And let me go ahead and disconnect the wired portion of the router from the PC. So we can check to see if we actually, in fact, have a wireless connection. Disconnecting the blue wire from port one. Rebooting the CD now, uh, the, the PC now. Okay, now we've restarted the uh, PC again uh, because we've just installed it. I've disconnected the uh, Linksys router wired wise and now I'm going to see if the router, which is secure, can communicate to the, to the laptop wirelessly. I go to uh, start and then click on the word network and now we have the network window open here and then I click on network and sharing center click on that and we notice that the the uh, PC is not connected to the internet anymore so then I click on manage network connections And here, we see that the local area network is disconnected, but we see a wireless network connection, and it's disabled. If you can uh, zoom into that, you can see that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on that. And of course, it's going to give me a warning. We're going to connect to it. It's enabling the wireless connection at this time. Okay. It, Failed. We see an, uh, an X mark there. I'm going to right click on that and hit connect. Don't you have to turn your wireless on? Oh, the wireless, I'm sorry. The wireless is on now. So I w went ahead and turned on the wireless. And we see that it says security enabled network. I'm going to double click on this and hit the word connect. I highlighted it and I click on the word connect. Now it's asking me for the security key as we suspected it would. The WPA2 security network key. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to bring this window down and remember that the Linksys software put the network security key in a text message here. And here we see it, here we see the security key. It's uh, yeah. Hang on. We're going to put the security key in there. Let's see if I can cut and paste it. I cut and pasted it and make sure there's no spaces in the front of the security key and make sure there's no spaces in, in the back. So we see the security key for this router, which was randomly selected in the software, is Hotel Echo Lima Alpha Delta Romeo 3 Charlie 9 Hotel, all in capital letters. I, hit, I click display setting so I can see and make sure that it is the same as in the text, and I will hit connect. Now it is connecting to the Linksys 01, which is the exact name we gave the router, and we are using the exact security key to log into this router so that I will know 
that we have an established link or established wireless link. Here. It has here, here it says right here, successfully connected to Linksys 01. Save this network. Yes, we want to do that. And we want to start the connection automatically. Yes, we do. We have both boxes checked. We go ahead and hit the word close. And now I know I have a wireless connection from my PC to my Linksys router. Next, we will install the Lexmark printer. For demonstration purposes, we will install the printer as if it was fresh out of the box. We will also simulate putting in the ink cartridges, but we'll show you and, and but we will show you the USB cabling necessary to establish a WPA2 secure wireless connection. After running the installation CD, we will once again reboot the computer and print a document with the printer wirelessly. So let's run the Lexmark installation CD now and follow their instructions. Here we see, given with the Lexmark, uh, the printer, you're given three CDs. One CD is for your PC-based machines. The other PC is for Macintosh. And of course, the, the owner's manual, which they didn't print on paper, but they gave you on CD. Go ahead, oh, go ahead and open the, the our Toshiba again. And this time, once again, I don't have the power cord connected to the Lexmark, assuming or uh, simulating that it's fresh out of the box. We're going to take the PC base CD and put it into our Toshiba and run the program. Run the program uh, on our Toshiba. 305 series laptop. PC is now reading the Lexmark software and we will go step by step and follow the uh, Lexmark uh, CD procedures. Here we see we get the welcome screen Go ahead and click install. Here is the Lexmark licensing agreement. We'll hit agree to the terms of the licensing and hit continue. We want to install typical. We don't, we don't need to do the custom stuff to continue. It tells us, are you setting up a printer new like it's coming out of the box? And we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Yes, we are. We're going to pretend like this is a new printer we've just inst we're just going to install. Step by step, it tells you to take everything out of the box. It tells you to remove all the tape. You're going to find blue tape holding your, your, uh, your printer and your, your printer slash scanner and fax. Let me go ahead and remove this. Tells you to discard all the tape. Make sure all the tape is there. It tells you your next thing is to raise the control panel. So I'm going to do that now. You put your finger under here and you pull this up and your control panel will lock into place. Okay. Hit continue. Here it tells you to pull the tray out. I'm going to go ahead and take the fax phone line out and pull the tray out. So the tray is out. We hit continue. It tells us to flip this up, which is it's just already up. Continue. It tells us to pull out your uh, pull out your tabs where our tabs are out. Continue. And it tells us to insert paper. Uh, get by this tree here, and we have paper fit right into our Lexmark printer. We're going to hit continue. And now it is telling us to plug the printer in. Let me go to the back here. Let me uh, remove the, 
the Mac CDs and stuff. I'll put that off to the side. Let me show you the back end of the printer. The back end of the printer is very interesting. We can see that this is a, a power module that uh, Lexmark had decided to modulize. And I'll go ahead and put the power plug in here. Here we have your wireless, uh, what we call your IP sharer. This is your wireless IP sharer. This is connected here to the back end of your Lexmark. You can also come in by USB connector as well, your typical printer USB connector. So you have your wireless um, IP share and your power module. I'm going to go ahead and put this behind the, the laptop and bring it over to our extension cord and plug it in. Does it say to plug it in? Yes, it does. So I'm going to plug it in. And now the Lexmark printer is initializing. Let me go ahead and put that on here and show you what's, what it looks like in the front. Okay. This printer has been installed once before.